Alright, so in this problem, I have x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equal to 17. So, to solve this problem for my solution, I'm going to first, let me rewrite uh, the equation right here. Now, to start, just by looking at this equation, what can we infer? Well, notice how we have x to the power of y minus something is equal to 17. And 17 is greater than 0, right? Meaning, x to the power of y is greater than y to the power of x. And this also must mean that x is greater than y, and y is greater than 0. So now that we know this, I'm going to rewrite my equation here, x to the power of y minus y to the power of x is equal to 17. And x to the power of y, I can rewrite this as x to the power of y to the power of 2 over 2, because 2 over 2 is the same thing as 1. And x to the power of y to the power of 1 is the same thing as x to the power of y. Now this, I can rewrite as x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So I can switch these up. Now y to the power of x, I can also change this up as well. So y to the power of x, I can rewrite that as y to the power of x to the power of 2 over 2. And this, I can rewrite as y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. Now from here, remember my original equation was x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equals 17. Now I can replace x to the power of y with x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2, and y to the power of x with y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2. So now I get x to the power of y over 2 to the power of 2 minus y to the power of x over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 17. Now I'm going to let x to the power of y over 2 equal to the variable a and y to the power of x over 2 equal to the variable b. So now if I substitute in a for x to the power of y over 2 and b for y to the power of x over 2, I get a squared minus b squared is equal to 17. Now if I have something in the form x squared minus y squared, this is equal to x plus y times x minus y. So a squared minus b squared, that's going to equal a plus b times a minus b is equal to 17. Now the only factors of 17 are 1 and 17, meaning that one of these two has to be 17 and the other one has to be 1. So just by looking at this, we can tell that a plus b is going to be 17, and a minus b is going to be 1, because a plus b is greater than a minus b. Meaning, a, I have two equations, a plus b equals 17, and a minus b, b is equal to 1. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together. a plus a is 2a, b minus b is 0, so these two cancel out, and 17 plus 1 is 18. So I get 2 equals 18, and if I divide both sides by 2, I get a is equal to 9. Now I can plug back in a for 9 into my original equation. So let's we could just do either one. I'm going to do a plus b equals 17. If I plug in a for 9, I get 9 plus b equals 17, meaning b is equal to 8. So a equals 9, b equals 8. And we can even check it over here. Let's plug both of these in. a is 9 minus b is 8. And 9 plus 8 does equal 1. So now that we know a is 9 and b equals 8, 
we can go back here and notice how we let x to the power of y over 2 equal a and y to the power of x over 2 equal b, meaning x to the power of y over 2 is equal to 9 and y to the power of x over 2 is equal to 8. So to solve this, let's first start by solving the first equation. So x to the power of y over 2 equals 9. I can first start by taking the power of 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of y is equal to 81. Now 81, I can rewrite that as 3 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to do the same thing to y to the power of x over 2. I'm going to take the power of 2 on both sides, and then these two cancel out, so I get y to the power of x is equal to 64. Now 64, I can rewrite that as 4 to the power of 3. So I have x to the power of y equals 3 to the power of 4, and y to the power of x equals 4 to the power of 3. Well, what does that mean? Well, y, 4, x, 3, and over here, y, 4, x, 3, meaning x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. So this is my solution to this equation. All right, so in this video, I'm solving the equation x to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 3 to the power of 3 on both sides. So now I get x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So this turns into x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. So now from here, I get two equations. I get x minus 3 equals 0, and x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. So obviously, for x minus 3 equals 0, x is equal to 3. So this is one solution. And now for x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this turns into negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 9, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this turns into negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 36 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 27 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 27 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. Now, 27 is the same thing as 9 times 3. And the square root of 9 is 3, so I get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 3 root 3. And the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to the imagined number i. So these are two more solutions to this equation.